What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Jay. Um, so we're trying this a little different today. Uh, we're not currently live on YouTube. We're not currently live on Twitch for the recording of this episode. Uh, welcome to Canning Culture, the informational podcast on the entertainment industry. I'm just trying to figure out what's what's on the main timeline and what's uh, what are we considering filler content. This week has been a little difficult because of the not only uh, the impending pandemic that's going on around, around the fucking world, but uh, also because of the massive protests that are going on. Um, it's been a little difficult uh, this week to even feel like I am at a place to create content. I know there are other creators who are dealing with a weird mental space as well. Um, it just feels like, I don't know, it's kind of tough to explain because it feels like I want to give my opinion on something or anything, but then also at the same time, you just feel like this pressure of like, there's this really, really loom over looming, uh, like presence of this is what's bigger. This is what's really going on. We don't really have time to, you know, worry about your gaming or industry videos or anything like that. So it's, it's a little tough. Uh, to even want to like give your opinion on something and honestly I just I okay just to be real about it uh, I I haven't even processed everything I uh, there's no way I don't have any type of training whatsoever to process any of this shit that's going on like if you would have told me years ago that there would have been a global pandemic while there's overt police brutality and racism all at the same time while also being broke and unemployed and not going back to work for who knows when and it's just puts you in a weird headspace of how the fuck do you even operate what the fuck do you even do So yeah, the real question comes down to uh, how do you even handle all of this? How do you even process all of this shit that's going on? Is there even a way to like uh, there's no way. I don't I definitely don't have the training. At no point in time did I ever receive any like manual or anything like going through high school or through college on like dealing with it, fucking anything i don't even know what the fuck you would classify this as is, is this trauma is this fucking uh, this is stress clearly but like what the what, what else do we put what category do we put this in i'm just super confused and so you know it's not i don't know it's even hard to articulate how i feel about everything because yes these are real things that are happening in the world yes these are i mean i live this existence every single day so it's not a surprise to me it's kind of exhausting to uh even speak on it all the time and i guess for maybe most people who don't live this type of existence who don't live with this type of mindset who don't really understand the position that people like me are being put into it's like how could you really you know how, how could you really articulate any of that how could you really even comprehend any of that and so i just feel like i'm in this constant state of do i want to explain this do i want to explain that do i want to break this down do i want to break that down uh and it's it's tough because i actually have one friend she's kind of going crazy about it like she sees all this all lives matter stuff on her timeline and i'm trying to explain to her like listen you need to get off social this is just not working for you and she's just saying how she feels the need to explain to all of her caucasian friends about her experience with her blackness and all this other stuff and i'm like you're really letting these people create the narrative of of you know getting you out of character or making you upset or something but it's like if if you just pretend like you don't see it or if you choose not to acknowledge it if you choose not to you know interact with it it's like how do you know it's even there so just you know just ignore that shit that that's basically how i handle bad comments like i start reading it the second i see it's negative i'm just like all right this is none of my business this is this is this person's opinion <laughs> i don't i don't give a fuck about this person's opinion like it just it is what it is and i i do the same thing with the praise like when i see praising comments i'm just like all right this is dope but obviously i don't delete those like it's just the negative space ones because then what that does is it creates a situation where this is now posted on a video or this comment is posted on a picture or a post or something and then somebody else wants to interact with that negatively and i just i just don't want that shit in my comment section because there's been numerous times where there's going to be a thread of 23 25 people deep uh of just bashing on the one person that 
said, hey, I didn't like this video or whatever. I think you're stupid or whatever the fuck. Um, so it's it's like I don't want to invite that in my space at all. I don't want to invite that in my brain. Like I just don't – I don't have room to process it. I don't have the emotional room to care about everything. I don't have the emotional room to – uh, even pretend like I'm, I'm on top of everything. Like I just can't, uh, I have way too much shit going on just personally that is filling up so much of that space. So I can't even process everything else. I can't even get to work on everything else. I can't even, uh, you know, work on the shit that I'm supposed to work on. So it, it, it's really, really difficult operating this time, especially being a low level black content creator that's the only point of view that i can speak from i can't speak from a regular quote-unquote content creator because i'm just not there like i'm just not at a place where i would consider that um but yeah i i can't i can't speak from any other point of view except for my own and right now it feels really weird to create content it feels really weird to even want to I, it feels really weird to not be out protesting it feels really weird to not uh, do what I can to stand for something because uh, yes, a hundred percent. I am worried about my safety. Like if I was of a different race and I feel the way that I do right now, hundred percent, I would go out and just be in the streets with people and fucking protesting and shit. But I have to worry about my fucking life. Like I have to worry about like my physical health and shit like that. Like I, as much as I want to stand for something and as much as I want to go out, I mean, this probably makes me look really dumb and stupid for saying this, but like, there's no guarantee that I can I'll come back you know what I mean like there's there's such a small percentage chance that I that something could happen like but there it's a lot higher than if I was a different color uh so <clears throat> so that's a little weird to even sit and grasp sorry guys while I hydrate but yeah, even that's like a different, difficult situation to navigate and feel about. Meanwhile, I have to come back on this podcast every single Thursday, uh, and well, at least I try to, and just block out everything and talk about the entertainment news and how you know the Spider-Man this and Marvel that and video games this and it it's just it's difficult for me to even sit and contemplate and and think about everything else that's going on and then ignore it just so that way I can make content like right now is a tough time um I feel like I need to address certain things like oh well how do you feel about this movement and how do you feel about what what this person said about that or this person of notoriety said this and da 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 da, da. and it's like people want me to give my opinions about shit that I just I haven't even processed like what the fuck is going on in life right now like I I could care less about some shit that somebody else said like what about this celebrity they did this and they did that what are your opinions and thoughts and blah 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 and I'm just getting to a point where I'm at that age where if something's not my business I just don't I I don't have room to fucking care like I said I just I I I can't I can't deal with it all as much as I want to as much as I want to take in and solve all of these issues and problems i also have to acknowledge that once again i am a small content creator like my opinion is even though whether it be right wrong indifferent rather my views or solutions on things are are like the best or this is what people should do and this that and the other thing it's only going to reach so far and that's like a really uh discouraging thought i guess you could say and i just I don't know. I, f I feel like having these widespread opinions on so many different topics and things like that is great. Like, that's so cool. But I have to introduce and dictate that uh, that information and that content in a certain way because I'm still essentially, like, just to, just to be real, I'm chasing clout. You're just chasing clout. That's that's all you're really doing as like a smaller creator. That's everything you do. You have to piggyback off of something somebody bigger did, or you have to do um, some sensationalized content that I don't personally believe in. Like, there's a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that I'm suggested every single week. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? This will get you views. This will do that. And it's like, yeah, but it's not. It's not about views. It's about the content and it's about my feelings about the content and it's about the influence that the content is going to have like every single piece of information i have to put out a certain way and i have to present it a certain way so i can't make these 
cool video. Like, I just don't see myself making that type of content yet. I just, I can't. Like, I, I, that, I, that's just not me. I just feel like that's not right. I just feel like it's not okay for me in specifically. Um, so, you know, like everybody else is at some point in time, you make your one piece of viral content and it blows up and then you just keep working at it and working at it. And then next thing you know, you get another one and you just make these really popular things that, that kind of pop off by accident. Like most of the time, I mean, sometimes it's, it's all planned and it's thought out and stuff like that. And those are, that's a really weird space to be in. Like that's, that's super strange to me that people are able to do stuff like that. But it's also when bigger creators do stuff and you know, that blows up and it doesn't create like a thought process in my head. Like, oh man, I wish I could do that. It doesn't do that for me anymore. What happens is I kind of am just like, okay, what can I take from this that I can, you know, what can I learn from, from this and how can I apply this to my situation and what works for me and stuff like that. And what works for one creator doesn't always work for another creator. It just, it just doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Uh, it's sometimes it, it, it helps, but it doesn't do the exact same thing for every single person. So with that said, there's not really much going on in the entertainment news. So I guess I'll just talk about some personal experiences that I've had this week. Um, I finally finished Disgaea. Uh, Disgaea 5, I actually finally got on PC. I played the first 10, 15 hours, I guess, on... I guess that was about how much I played on, on PS4. And because I no longer have a PS4 right now, which most of you guys know from the videos and the rants that I've been making, um, I finally got a chance to sit down and play numerous, numerous hours of Disgaea 5. And after 164 hours, I finally completed just the first playthrough. Um, I ended up maxing uh, my main characters out at around level 191, which I know to most of you guys, you're just like, why do I give a fuck? Like, what are you even talking about? I've never, I, it's anybody who likes Persona will probably like this guy at five. Um, but you know, that's a whole different conversation for a different day. Um, so I, I guess I, that's pretty much the highlight of my week. Like quarantine has really, really uh, put a damper on some shit. But I guess I can talk about like more personal experiences that I found out yesterday. So there's a really big issue going on with my job right now. Um, and as you guys know, I work for a talent agency. Um, I've talked about it numerous times and like all the stuff that we do and we like book concerts and all this other stuff. And uh, I found out from my boss yesterday uh, that I won't be going back to work until 2021, which is actually uh, really, really sucks because uh, I just started this job in November, December, like right around there, like early, like late last year, early this year. And uh, I really like it. And I was on track to like really um, like become a full fledged talent agent and like really, you know, operate a career out of that. Um, but Unfortunately, because of the global situation that's going on right now, you know, I have this situation where I don't have to pay rent essentially uh, because I'm not I'm not fucking able to like I can't be evicted right now. I don't have the money to pay up all this rent and shit up front. And it's fucking tough, man, because all I want to do is just like have some space to myself like so I can create and I can be in my own fucking bubble and I just can't do that right now. And when this, uh, you know, pause on a, evictions and all this stuff is up, like I have to move. Like I have to figure out what I'm going to do before all of this shit is over. But you can't move or get a place without proof of income or a job or anything like that. So I'm forced to get a new job until this other job opens back up. But it's also in the state of California, it's really fucking tough because it's like, hey, you have to have a mandatory credit score of 600 and like all of this other shit. And it's just, it's, it's fuck nuggets, guys. It's just fucking awful. But I don't see my, well, I thought about moving to London this past week. That was something that I genuinely considered. I was like, oh, I, I could definitely see myself living there. Um, just because of all of the research that I've done beforehand on all of the cool shit there. That's just something that I'm interested in. I don't see myself living anywhere else in the States because everywhere else, honestly, sucks. 
Like, I was born here, I was raised here, there's no reason for me to go anywhere else. Everybody else all over the country wants to travel here, everybody else all over the world wants to come here and travel here, and it's like, I, okay, I get it, but like, fuck, dude, shit is just, there's absolutely no reason why I should be paying $1,500 for a fucking cardboard box. That shit makes absolutely no sense, so... And it's just, you know, tons of personal stress on me, and it's, it, I, I don't even know where all of this is going, guys, so, <laughs> but, you know, other than that, entertainment news is pretty dry this week, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I did almost no research, this is more of a personal episode, um, given my thoughts and opinions and stuff, um, next week we'll probably be back to normal, uh, we'll probably have some interesting stuff to talk about, we'll talk about the PlayStation 5 event cancellation, we'll probably talk about more stuff about The Last of Us, more stuff about uh, Nintendo. We'll even probably, if I'm in the mood, we'll talk about some racism because I know how you guys love my hot takes on that. Um, but other than that, man, I'm just trying to do the best I can right now as a creator. Uh, I will say there is one update. Uh, as you guys also know, uh, my uh, sub counter has been stuck in between 7730 and 7740 so 7730 people 7740 people it's been stuck in between there since last november it'll every time i upload it'll either go up 10 subs or down 10 subs there has been absolutely no change uh for the past few months now which is has been super aggravating because the views are getting better the watch time is getting better there's clearly new people in the comment section on almost every single video and they're consistently posting or which shows that either these people are just coming back for my specific videos or these are people that are sub to me uh it's just you know it is it's a lot all of it's a lot but also all of it's a little at the same time and it's such a minor inconvenience where you're just like, well, who fucking cares? What the fuck? But it's been bothering me that every time I upload, this same significant number changes. Up 10, down 10. Up 10, down 10. And it's... Anyway, the news is that it's finally broken. We hit 77.45 and then 77.46 the other day. So I'm very, very excited to see it finally fucking changed. I don't know what has broken uh the the youtube calculation system i don't know what it was but it's dope so um even though there was a blackout on content this week and i just was not feeling it I, it makes me sick to my stomach to even consider making content right now um which is why this podcast is so fucked up today but um other than that man i just i don't have i don't have any answers i don't have any thoughts i don't have any wisdom this week uh this has been one of the hardest weeks for me personally and just all of the other personal stuff that i'm dealing with 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 like friends families uh fucking significant other bullshit like i just i just can't deal with it all guys like i just can't so your boy is trying to process it and as i process and then learn these lessons i will definitely convey what i learned to you guys and just you know fuck it man i'm just trying to give you guys life lessons on some shit and tell you about my navigation through the entertainment industry so hopefully we'll be making a pivot and hopefully we'll be making a change sometime soon that'll be really fun i'll be glad to see that um and hopefully shit gets better on the other side man because this 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 shit right here we truly are in the darkest timeline and this is the this is the worst (laughs) <laughs> this is the absolute worst. I really was having a conversation with Deacon the other day about like what Earth 2J is doing and that nigga successful. And then Earth 3J is uh, we don't know what the fuck that guy's doing. So um but yeah, I think that's going to be it. I don't really have anything else to touch on. It's a fairly short show today, about half the length of what they usually are. Um I'm sorry about that guys, but this is just not the week so maybe next week we're gonna try and stay way more consistent if i can find more blocks of 45 minutes of me not doing anything then yes i'll definitely film some more stuff um and i need to figure out how to not be as congested congested when i'm on uh when i'm doing the podcast because oh i'm telling you guys this shit this shit is not great i don't know what the fuck is going on with my body but my health is also not doing well during the pandemic but that's another topic for another day thank you guys for listening to today's podcast um make sure you like subscribe give it five stars on apple um just shoot me a thumbs up or 
thanks for the podcast or something on social all that stuff is going to be in the descriptions or down below or wherever the fuck you're listening to this podcast it is available on apple itunes it's available on spotify it's it's available on anchor and also thank you to the guys over at anchor for providing such a great platform for people to distribute their podcast uh i honestly would only have this on youtube and twitch and soundcloud and soundcloud is a bad platform to do <laughs> to do podcasts it just it really is it used to be great when it was like hey you can upload these large portions of and this isn't me just like bad mouthing soundcloud it's just they're 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 not in a place where podcasts are great there because after the first few hours and the first few gigabytes of data which in a podcast that's one episode if you're if you're like really going into some lengthy shit so that's why i've never i've never desired to put the podcast on soundcloud like it just i paid the 12.99 or whatever the 7.99 for a few months to host the podcast on there and they're like you have unlimited uploads but the oh my god like the traffic was just real bad so it's you know i don't i don't know what their search function is like it's a lot better than you know twitch or something like that so discoverability is significantly better on there than some platforms but that's just not the platform for the podcast so i'm excited to just do more stuff and i'm trying to make sure i'm always coming out with something uh you know you guys know i upload monday wednesday friday live stream monday wednesday friday stream on twitch on tuesdays and thursdays occasionally a rare saturday stream where i'm playing dokkan battle or something like that so because that's what you guys have been asking for me lately also if you would like to sponsor a video uh go ahead and uh tweet me message me leave me some comments jay how how can i be a sponsor and then i'll give you guys all the information i try not to give all that information over the podcast um actually i guess i can uh essentially the way it's working right now is if you decide to sponsor a video it's a a dollar per video and it's any subject that you want right now we our top dono is lee boy and he has 230 no i think he has fuck i actually have to look in the discord <laughs> i think he has around almost 300 video submissions that he wants like hey do these series do jojo do one one punch man do one piece oh god um also shout out to anime dunn who has the second highest they think she has a hundred and i think 103 yeah 103 or 105 uh sponsored videos available so if you guys would also like to get on that list and be part of the discord uh shoot me a message let me know scroll down to the description uh there's also a membership there so you guys can uh support that that would be great and that's on the youtube platform but other than that guys this has been your man just Sama. i will see you guys next week make sure to keep it canon